Greetings, fellow Earthlings. HK here with another IC2 mod tutorial. In this episode, I will be showing you how to make some electronic items. Fancy, right? Um, in this case, as you may have noticed, we're making some electronic food. Scrumptious. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I have a generic mod here, which is literally the generic mod from basic modding. You just type in basic modding and the forge one comes up and this is pretty much a straight copy and paste of basic modding yeah so you can look at that if you want to uh, learn more about how to do the basic stuff and let's get started so in electronic food we want to do a few things no nope. first we want to make the file for the base communication between IC2 and our mod. I'm just gonna call it electric <laughs> item base. That's pretty much it. Electronic item base. It's just the base file for all of our electronic item stuffs. And we're just gonna do extends item. I'm not sure if we need it to extend item, but um, the IC2 source codes do, even though it doesn't look like it needs to, so you can experiment with that, but implement, okay, implement, there we go, I electric item, and that is the thing, the thingy under uh, item in the IC2 API item, it's I electric item, we're just implementing this. It has all the stuff we're going to use. Perfect. So now let's import this um, on Mac or no, it's Command Shift O or Control Shift O for Windows. I think I'm not sure what the whole keyboard stuff is, but Command or Control Shift O imports it. Now add constructor, which will add this stuff. Change this to ID. Change this to ID. Go to this Control D, Command D, whatever you want to use or whatever it is. Now let's add the Methods, add the methods, there we go. Let's get rid of all of these because they're boring and stupid and no one likes them. Vanished from the kingdom of AGK. Okay. Yes, I am weird. We all know that. Now let's set max damage to 27. Perfect. Set stack, I'll explain this why, or why we're doing this after a second because I am bad I can't multitask and talk and type at the same time it's not amateur there we go okay so set max damage 27 it's just kind of how IC2 does it and uses it so we do the same thing it just kind of it sets the maximum amount of damage that the item can take and then set max stack size that's pretty self-explanatory allows you to only have one item, just like a tool or any of that kind of stuff. Anything that has power, because we don't want the things to be conflicting. Now, if it can provide energy, that means can it be like a battery and both take energy and give energy. So can I charge it in MFSU and put it inside of a macerator to get it to charge the macerator? And because this is a food, an item, I'm going to say no, it cannot do that. Now, get charged item ID. That is just this dot item ID. Because we want to use the same item. So I'm going to use this one. I'm use the same item. Now, get max charge. Um, we'll get back to this one in just a second. Up here. Not there. Up here. I want to make a few new variables public int max charge and public int uh, transfer limit and one more public int um, we'll do it on tier perfect now we're going to go into back down into here the max charge and we're just going to do this dot max charge this one will be this dot tier i bet you'll never guess what this one is this dot transfer limit. Man, you guys are good. Okay. And that's pretty much it for that part. We're going to add our 
and last thing, and in the means of time and how long it takes to type all this stupid stuff, I'm just going to copy and paste it from my notes over here. And there we go. Boom. So I'll explain this all in just a second. I just want to format this so it looks nice and doesn't look stupid like all my other code stuff. <laughs> so now I'm just going to import this, Control shift o and it's the list it's talking about right here. Again, I'll explain this in just a second. So utility list. Good. Data tabs, all that shit. Okay, good. So now it's side only side. So this is something only the client needs to worry about. The server is just going to say, client, you take this. It's not my problem. You take it. And the client will be like, yes, thank you. I finally get to do something myself. Perfect. So one, we're making a item stack. And the new item stack is just this with one type in the stack. So item stacks is just stacks of items. And this is a stack or this item that we're using, the electric food because electric food will be extending this. Yeah, it's confusing, but this is the electric food. And now in one, it's saying that the stack size is one. That's pretty much it. Now, if the get charged item ID for this item stack, or the, the whole thing item stack, is equal to this item ID, which we're setting is equal to this item ID, so this is gonna be true, but in case people change this or do something different. It's good. To, good thing to have this so it's more flexible code and doesn't crash or break as often. And yes, so um, item ID char or item stack charged. So now we're making a new item called charged with the same thing, and we're charging this item. So we're charging charged with this much power, which is a lot of power. <laughs> uh, true and false, which. What are those? It's um, if it should simulate it, so don't actually charge it, but we want it to charge it, so it's gonna be true, and ignore transfer limit true. So this means in just one tick, it'll charge this all through one time. The transfer limit says how much um, power can go through it per tick. So like stuff like nuclear reactors have like two thousand four hundred something e per tick. This is just setting that e per tick. So yes, um, this is just charging, it's ignoring it, so it's auto It's just filling this up instantly, which when we set our max charge, it's not going to be anywhere near that, so it's going to have extra energy, it's just not going to add it, it'll be problems. It won't be a problem, it'll just ignore the extra energy and fill it up to what it's supposed to be. And that's pretty much it for this part, we're adding, um, we're adding the item charge to item list, which is the thing that the get sub items is doing, and we're doing the same thing for this one. We get empty plus item list new stack, and we're making this new stack this item with one item in the stack, with and that item will have the damage of the max damage, so it'll be 27. But so this just means we're taking one fully charged one, and we're taking one completely depleted one, and we're adding it to the item list, and we are going to be. It's a void, so that's it, and that's it. the Minecraft knows what to do with that item list and adds that to our creative tabs. That's pretty much it. That's how IC2 has two different items inside their things. Enough explaining that. Let's move on to the class part. We're going to extend the electric item base. Good. Save. Um, the only other uh, non-regular item thing I have in this one is public item stack on item right click. So when you click the item, it will say hello. And I tested it, it works, all that stuff. So let's change this. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, and for the sake of time again, copy and paste because typing is stupid and wait, worthless and stupid. Import this, and I will explain this now. Import this as well. Why are you not importing? Control Shift O. Okay. Save, and here we go. So on item right click, we're gonna use 500 energy out of this item. So electric item manager use this item 500 of this player. So this player is gonna be depleted. That this player's item is going to be depleted by 500. Perfect. Now, 
that is a boolean, so a true or false. So if there is 500 in there and it worked, then it's going to um, make this true and run this stuff right, right here. It's going to run all this, which is basically saying if the world is client, the, the mark there says if it's not is remote. So if it is not remote, then player add chat message um, in blue, how did that taste? So it'll just tell you how did the thing taste after you use the power. And yeah. so once you right click on it, it's going to say, how did that taste? Now, this is just a little thing I did for debugging. Um, probably could get rid of all this, but I'm going to keep it just for demonstration purposes. If the player is sneaking, player that get food stats, add stats, negative two, so minus two health points with 2.4 saturation. And the saturation, just so you know, if you want to know more, is under the hunger, and it is here, the saturation restored. Now, this is pretty, pretty much as I gotten, as what I think it is, I may be wrong, please correct me if I am, it's how fast the food regenerates your food points, how fast your food point, your health points regenerate, or how not health points, it's the how long the food points last. So if it's a high one, that means it's going to last longer, and your food isn't going to be depleted as fast. Or if it's something like cake, that food is going to get depleted very quickly because you're only stuffing up on cake and it's not very healthy. I think there's too many other ones, but an apple is two point four. And since we have a uh, my item, or the, the texture for this item is a blue apple, I just did apple. So yes, it's gonna re then it's gonna return the item stacked and end the the loop. But if the person is not sna uh, snacking, <laughs> if the person is not sneaking, then it's gonna add two of two point four floats and then return it. And then if it doesn't have enough power at all, like it can't, it, it, if this returns false, then it's going to do this else, and it's going to say, oops, out of power. That's pretty much the gist of this. You can pause the video, look at it more, study each little thing. There's probably many problems because, you know, well, it's just me, so I make lots of problems. So, yes. <laughs> now let's save this. Let's run it. Um, just say no. You do run configurations, arguments, you can set a username for what username you want to use. So my username is HKZ. So I'm just going to do dash dash username HKZ. And that'll, in, in the console, it will run my name, setting user HKZ. So that's pretty much it. Once this charges up, we will demonstrate the video, not the video, the item that it works. I don't want this video to go too much longer because I like short videos. Okay. Now, electric food. Uh, for some reason, durability was started. Uh, probably because I was using it already. But yes, this is it. This is the item we just made. I can guarantee you that that this is we just made it. And if we shift, so I'm shifting and click, it'll crash the game. What did I do? I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot one step. <laughs> so when we were going into the electric item base, we were setting these, but never actually setting the code or the the actually variables. We're not actually setting them. So let's go into here. This dot um, what is it? Max charge. Yes, equals one thousand. Uh, actually, that's two two thousand. Let's be nice. Then allow this dot transfer limit is equal to 100. We want 100 things to come out, and this dot tier to be equal to. I don't know if I actually explained what this is, but max charge, I'm just going to be max charge is how much storage it can charge, how much power it can store. Uh, get tier is what tier of circuit electronic thing it is. So if it's tier one, that means it can be charged in a bat box and up. If it's tier two and MFE and up, 
and if it's tier three, it's only an MFSU. So that's pretty much it for that part. And then get transfer on is how much you can get out and go in at, at one time. That's pretty much it for that. Let's try running this again. And let's go crash. Please don't crash this time. <laughs> yeah, it took me a few minutes to figure out a brand new world. Creative, super flat. And do food stuffs. I did not name that. That is what's in Mellow Minecraft. So as you can see, there are two different items. That's because of our get sub items, which is adding two items. And one is fully charged and one is fully not. <laughs> so if we add this, this, let's go into the IC2 tab as well. Get an MFE. Let's get the solar panel because you know they're very efficient without the credit. Without the compact solars mod. The wire. Yes. Perfect. So let's do things like wire. There we go. Now that is charging up. If we put our um, electronic food inside of the upper one, so it charges. You see, it starts draining this, and it charges our food. And we have time in game mode survival, but um, because we added that, if you shift click, it will take power out. This is how you got taste, but that's just because we're shift shift clicking. Now we're out of power, so it's telling me out of power. Perfect. So let's charge this back up, and let's eat up. That's pretty much it. We now have a working item inside here. So you can make it so if it's a oh electric pickaxe, if you want to do something like that, so each time on break, if you want or like on block break or whatever you want to do, you can just do electronic item manager, use how much power you want to use. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh thanks for watching. That's about it.